Hi there. So today I am going to be starting a little bit of cleanup in my garden. I'm out here at lunchtime. I work from home, so I'm gonna do a little bit of lunchtime gardening today. Uh, I got something to eat real quick and I thought, boy, I've got a little bit of extra time. I'm gonna get out there and do something. So what I thought about doing is cleaning up um, all of the, well, as, as many as I can, um, the little pea stone areas. So you can see, uh, this is my gully garden here on the left side of my house. And there are certain little areas where I've kind of carved out a little bit in the mulch and put pea stone just for some extra interest, I guess. There's lots of weeds going on in those areas. So that needs to happen, some weed cleanup. And then also I have some extra pea stones that I got from my steps that I put in the back that my brother and I made. Uh, not a ton of extra ones, but um, I do have some extra bags. So I thought maybe I'd freshen up some of the areas that look a little bit uh, light and washed out. I do have weeds in my entire garden, <laughs> but I'm just gonna start with this for now. So the first area I'm going to start on is this area right here. You can see, well, you can kind of see at one point, this was kind of more distinctive as a kind of a dry creek, I guess, here. Um, I eventually plan to put a cute little like bridge over top of it with some pallet wood or something. I just haven't ever gotten the chance to do it yet. <laughs> so eventually, you know, I might get to something like that. But yeah, we're just going to start with this. I've got... Um, some different types of rocks in here, uh, but the majority of it is pea stones. So I'll probably use my extra bags to refresh this little section up because this one uh, has lost the most of it. Um, and then all around it, I've got like some bigger rocks. So I will go in there and uh, straighten all those out as well. So that's the little area I'm talking about, kind of goes around like that. Now, if we walk down over here, you guys, I just did a garden tour, I'm not kidding, about three or four days ago, at the most three, at the most four days ago, and stuff has already put on significant growth <laughs> since then. It is so exciting. As much as I love the summer uh, season when everything is completely flushed out, this is the most exciting time of the year for me, I think, because it literally goes from like nothing <laughs> to all this amazing spring color. So anyway, I have another little pea stone area right here. So I'll get that cleaned up. And then over here, I've got this little area that needs weeded again. And then if I have time, I'll get to this little kind of uh, I don't know what you call it, like a kidney bean bed. So all of these areas have some nice like bigger size rocks that line it. So I'll have to come in and fix all those. But you can see this one needs some significant weeding as well. So we will work on all those areas. While we're over here, I gotta show you my bleeding hearts. They're so pretty. And I really think I might get some more this year because I just love these so much. I'm actually going to bust out my gator today uh, just because all of the pea stones are still in the back of that thing and then I don't have to move them. Uh, but I'll grab the gator and then, oh, look at these. These are spot on pulmonaria. I want to show you the, the color contrast in these pulmonaria and the brunera, it's so I got pretty. These last season for like two or three bucks a piece. They looked really crappy. They were on the clearance rack. And I picked them up and put them in this kind of, I call it a dump bed, where I kind of where I kind of hold plants over until I'm ready to plant them somewhere. But look at the contrast in colors here. So this is the pulmonaria and then that's the brunera. I think that's the, uh, oh, which one was that? Looking glass? Let me see if I kept a tag. Yes, looking glass. This is all looking glass Brennera, but all of the Brennera really looks very similar at this stage when it first pops out. But I wanna sh take a piece and show you the difference. Isn't that pretty? 
And it actually looks really pretty with that acorus grass in the back too. Oh my goodness. I love this. Anyway, since we're back here, I wanted to show you, <laughs> excuse me. I wanted to show you how my steps are holding up and the moss is looking pretty good. So I have to tell you the raccoon came in here and he did move some of these pieces. So if you see like some of those like brownie pieces, he had knocked those off of the, the edge there. So they kind of got dried up but I kind of think it looks cool with the brown pieces in there. So eventually I'm gonna uh, continue these steps and start with like a maybe a half step and keep going. And I've got some more moss that I collected right there as soon as I'm ready. Always afraid like a mouse lives in here and he's about to jump out at me. Right, so I don't have very much to sell that. I only have three full bags and I think like a half bag over there from last season. So you know, it's not that much. We'll do with what we have. I'm always afraid I'm gonna take this straight off of the cliff. <laughs> it could happen one day. I wouldn't put it past me. looking a lot better even by just pulling the weeds and defining my rock outline there and it's not perfect but I kind of like it like that this gully garden is meant to be not perfect it's just meant to be super whimsical and kind of uh, free-flowing out here so all right I'm going to go gather what pea stone I have and we will lightly place it in this little section. Of me working so hard When I got a woman And the boss man's your Cause my bucket's got a hole in it Yeah, my bucket's got a hole in it Yeah, my bucket's got a hole in it Actually, the next morning, it started to rain yesterday, so I had to quit and was, I was already out here on my lunch hour, so I ran out of time, but I ended up having to go into town later in the day, and so I stopped by the my favorite Home Depot that always has 
bags of like ripped soil and sand and rock and mulch uh, for at least 50% off. So I grabbed a few more bags and they're really nice bags. They're just, you know, they've got holes in them here and there uh, and they're just a lot cheaper. <laughs> So I am back out here and I'm actually going to lay a few more bags on this little section and then we'll move to the next one. Yeah, my book has got a hole in it. Yeah, my book has got a hole in it. Yeah, my book has got a hole in it. Wow, that looks so much better. I love it. Now, I did leave a few little uh, volunteer blue fescue grasses in here, and I always kind of let them grow up and then replant them somewhere else. So I'll remember they're here and then I'll probably grab them. That's how I got all these blue fescue grasses. They were all just little uh, volunteers that popped up, and I thought those are neat, so I put them in here. But this is looking a lot better. We'll come up here, you can see the neat line. Looks pretty good. All right, let's move down to the little rainbow section. Let's walk through here. You can see all the weeds I gotta clean up in here. Wow, that is looking a lot better. That's probably the most, uh, that's probably the thickest pea stone I've ever laid in there. <laughs> I'm usually pretty stingy, so putting a bag and a half in there was a pretty big deal for me. Uh, but maybe before we're done, I'll bring down my pots from the porch and put my one there that I usually put. But we'll move over here and this little section right here, it just needs weeded and then maybe like one bag to top it off a little bit. But after this, I probably have to get going to work, but we'll see how far we can get. My fun has ended for the day. <laughs> I have to go to work. I'm actually driving to Elkhart, Indiana. Uh, we are opening a new Meyer store there. So if you want to get some brand new plants in time for Mother's Day, uh, go check out the Elkhart, Indiana store. And oh, there's mushrooms growing. That's crazy kind of scared me. Mushrooms growing right in my yard. But anyway, I am going there to set up the garden center for the first time and get it ready for the grand opening, which is May 14th, I believe. So anyway, I'll see you back here after work. Guess what, guys? <laughs> Not only is it after work, it's actually the next day. Uh, when I got home from work, I had like probably 30 emails I was backed up on, so I had to get to those. And then I later had to go to um, a practice at church for uh, worship worship this weekend. Um, we're doing like kind of a country gospel weekend, and so we usually do like a midweek rehearsal for that because it's not the typical music we play. Um, doing something special for Mother's Day weekend coming up. But you can probably hear 
all the banging in the background. Uh, so our neighborhood, a lot of people are getting new roofs because we had a hailstorm come through probably a couple weeks ago. And so a lot of people are getting new roofs because of it because they had hail damage. So luckily I'm just doing a lot of time-lapse things so you don't have to listen to the banging. Uh, but it's kind of cool that this is taking me a few days because I feel like each day that goes by, the plants just get bigger and bigger. So you can kind of see how quickly things have grown in the past three consecutive days. So I'll just flip the camera around and show you just a few different spots. We won't get too crazy. Uh, and then we'll continue going with the pea stone. Look at this section. These uh, autumn frost hosts are starting to leaf out quite a bit. It's pretty neat. These ones are getting bigger. We kind of just went through this area here. But you can see all the things that are starting to leaf out. <laughs> Those guys over there on the roof are singing. But isn't it neat how in just a matter of days things are popping out. And like I said, y'all, I have not planted one thing yet this year. This is all perennial color that comes back for me every year. All on its own for free. <laughs> and look at all these for free weeds that I need to clean up here. This is gonna be a project. Let me show you how many weeds there are in here. Kind of see my line goes right there. All those are weeds I gotta clean. But, all right, let's get back down to where we need to go. And this is definitely gonna be a problem. There are chipmunks. I see them going in and out of these holes in the tunnels. They actually go all the way up into the grass over there. I watched them out my window there and I yell at them, but they don't seem to listen. But what they do is they collect nuts and things. They come and like run across here, dig a hole. I think they bury all their nuts and they make their way up here and like kind of do this whole thing and go in a big circle. So there's, let me show you the hole actually. See, they come up through that hole and it goes all the way under. So I'm gonna have to <laughs> figure something out because it is right underneath my hydrangea. I'm already looking at one, two, three, four, uh, there's another one somewhere, five holes right under my hydrangea. <sighs> Which actually, <laughs> that answers my other question that I asked my brother Kenny the other day I was like Kenny I gotta find somewhere to put my chipmunk crossing sign because there's so many chipmunk crossing areas in my garden I uh, I could put it anywhere and you know what that's where we're gonna put it up there we'll find a spot for my chipmunk crossing sign but all right, right now I'm gonna go get the uh, rest of the pea stones and we'll continue cleaning up those areas and get them all nice and neat. Take these chains from my heart and set me free. You've grown cold and no longer out pretty nice and I only have three bags of pea stone left so that's not really gonna make a dent on this big section here so I thought I might save it for a new pea stone section that we're gonna get to in a second 
Uh, but man, this looks a lot better than what it did. So I'll show you what it looks like. So all the weeds are pulled. The rocks are back in their place. All the way around. These Bremver are popping up a lot too. So that's really neat. Yeah, that looks much better. Nice and cleaned up. So the next section I think I want to add a little pea stone to is the corner of that over there. We'll go through Bleeding Heart Boulevard. <laughs> the Brunnera Heartleaf Lane. And over to this little section here. This little section here, you can't really tell very much, but there is a bunch of like purplish maroon color heaker in there. I believe I have dressed up evening gown and then also some obsidian. And I usually put annuals in this section every year, but Last year I had a bunch of heucara left over that I got on sale that I just wintered over in this spot. And I thought, it's actually really pretty here, but you can't see it very well. Number one, because of the color, it blends in with the dirt. And then it will also blend in with my mulch once we get that laid down. But number two, because the deer have hacked at it, but it is growing back. So anyway, I thought maybe I'll put a cute little rounded pea stone area in here. I think that turned out pretty cool. So in here I've got seven of the dressed up evening gown heucara and then on the outside of it is a different kind. It is the obsidian heucara. So I think to make those ones stand out I'll probably just put annuals in here. Some bright uh, green leafed and pink petaled probably impatiens once those are done at my sister's house. But I ended up so there was like some natural moss that was growing in here and I thought it looked really cool. So I actually went and got a bunch of moss from my pile down there that I harvested from my woods the other day and I just kind of offset all the little open spots and I think it turned out pretty cool. It's just different. It will look a lot nicer when my pathway gets mowed. It won't be as like jungly. But I think that looks pretty cool in there and we'll see how it goes uh, with just the patches of moss um, all around that huker. All right, well, that about does it for the three days. <laughs> I feel like I got a lot done. Those little areas were kind of driving me nuts and I ended up having another uh, couple bags, a bag and a half actually, so I still have two full bags left because I've got a half bag in the shed, half bag in the gator, and a full bag in the gator. So I've got two full bags of pea stone left if I feel like there's another opportunity for a cute little standout spot. Uh, but I'm really happy with how far everything went today. Even though I could have got discouraged, like I didn't have that much time to get a simple project like this done in one, in one day. Uh, it actually was much better because I got to appreciate the garden and see each day as it progressed how much more the plants grew up. So that was a really 
fun opportunity to think positive about my situation of not having a lot of time to get out here. <laughs> uh, so anyway, I hope that you guys just enjoyed hanging out with me today in the gully. But I'm probably going to sign off here because I'm sure that banging on the roof over there is pretty loud. I did hear them singing uh, Selena. It was so funny. I love that song. It's like bitty bitty bumba. Bitty bitty bumba. Bitty bitty bumba. I love that song. <laughs> so they were all over there singing it on the roof. But all right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you have a wonderful day.